Hey everybody, welcome back. Just wanted to make a quick video about how I manage to get through these long, long drives. And it's gonna help whether you're an expediter or you're just somebody wanna go on a long vacation, you know, cross country, road trip. First of all, I wanna apologize for this really loud noise. It's like a little whirling, whirling sound like a Any of you guys know what this is, please let me know. Uh, I can't figure it out. Oh, I haven't really looked into it yet, but it's kind of annoying. It turns on and off, so I don't know. I don't know what it is, but please comment if you know what it is. So let's just get on to it. I like to keep my videos short. So I think I have three main points that I want to make. First of all, I don't sleep more than 20 minutes. Okay, I used to sleep a couple hours on the road. I did not like it. Okay, you sleep for three hours, right? And you feel more tired than you did when you first, you know, before you went to sleep. So that wasn't working for me. What I do now is I'll sleep 20 minutes and whether it be 200, 250, 300 miles increments, you know, I'll take that break. And it doesn't matter if I'm tired or not. I'll still go in the back and just close my eyes. Make sure an alarm is on though if you're an expediter, just in case you do fall asleep because you don't want to get stuck in that position where you know your dispatch is calling you, they can't get a hold of you. Which I had a big problem with that too when I first started. But yeah, the 20 minutes of sleep, also why I do this, because apparently your brain needs 20 to 30 minutes to recharge. I don't know if this is correct. I heard this somewhere. I might have to do some more research on this, but it makes sense. It's very efficient if this is true because you're recharging your brain just enough for, you know, to keep going, you know, just enough to be safe on the road, keep other drivers safe on the road. That's what you want. Second point, I would say it kind of goes off of what I my last video about the food is keep light food with you, okay? Don't eat this heavy hamburgers, especially when you're about to get to that time where you're gonna get tired. Eat vegetables, fruits, you know, soft, light, not soft, light foods. Okay, you don't want your body to be working so hard. You already got so much going on, you're trying to focus on the road. You don't want anything extra, you know? Just be easy on yourself. So in that way, it's a simple concept, just eat light food. Third thing, what I would do while I drive, stop at rest areas, okay? What do you do at a rest area? Jump, you know, get outside, do some jumping jacks, do some pull-ups, push-ups, whatever you wanna do. Just get the blood flowing. You wanna get the blood flowing because you've been sitting down for hours and hours. It's not good, you know? You wanna at least move around. It's gonna get your blood flowing and you're gonna be more alert. To, to kind of add on to that, I don't do this anymore, but if you get really tired, or you know, even if you're just semi a little bit tired, go in the bathroom in the rest area, just splash your face with cold, cold water. As cold as water as you can get. That will help too. I've been in positions where I was like late, you know, this is my beginning, my, my uh, driving, when I first started driving, and I'd be so tired, didn't know what to do. I just splashed myself with water. Yeah, it did the trick. But other than that, I probably missed some things I wanted to say. I'm not sure. So if you have some comments, ideas too, you think might help, please suggest them. I would like to hear. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you like my video, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos to come. Thank you.